Hello again and welcome to your latest Scotland forecast from the Met Office. A grey afternoon on Wednesday afternoon for many of us, a lot of cloud in the sky, but there will be cloud breaks for some eastern parts of the country and where we get cloud breaks, it will be quite warm. But the cloud fairly thick across northern and western Scotland in particular, low enough to cover the hills in the west, bits and pieces of drizzle where that happens. And more persistent rain just flirting with the far north, perhaps affecting the Outer Hebrides and the wind picking up here as well. But for eastern areas, for Aberdeenshire in particular, Fife, for Edinburgh, the Lothians, well, here there will be some sunshine, cloud breaking up over the hills and temperatures rising 16 or 17 degrees in some favoured spots. Elsewhere, 13, 14 degrees or so. Now into Wednesday night and the winds pick up even further. Coastal gales developing across northwestern coasts and the rain setting in as well. Wet weather for a time for the Northern Isles and then that wet weather settles in across parts of northern and western mainland Scotland. Further east and further south, drier but a lot more cloud coming along by the end of the night. And of course with a mild southwesterly airflow and with all that cloud cover, certainly not going to be a cold night. Temperatures generally holding up six, seven eight degrees or so. So mild but grey, windy and in some places wet start to Thursday. The rain increasingly persistent across central and western highlands, the western isles as well. But although it will affect Glasgow for a time during the morning, it does tend to stay clear of the central belt, drier for southern, eastern and northern areas. And it's in the far north on Thursday afternoon where we'll see the best of any cloud breaks, some sunny spells. Here, temperatures not quite as high because, of course, we're behind a cold front. Temperatures 9 or 10 degrees. Elsewhere, 13 or 14 degrees. Not as much sunshine, of course, compared to Wednesday afternoon into Thursday night. That rain then moves north again to affect the northwest and eventually the northern isles by the end of the night. But elsewhere, behind that rainfall, a lot of cloud cover, some hill fog, some drizzle over the hills as well, otherwise largely dry. The rain then comes south again onto, into Friday as a fairly wet spell of weather with increasing winds again before clearing to blustery showers for the weekend. Bye-bye.